Good evening, good evening. Uh, welcome to Monday Night Live at Kadan. Yes, indeed, every Monday night. Sign up at 8.30. <laughs> the open mic that's also a YouTube show. Yay! Okay, first up, uh, we have uh, Kevin Bailey. He's going to do uh, some uh, piano. Some, some music on piano. All right, uh, slight technical difficulty, and we're on our way.
Oh, and he says he's a little rusty. Hmm. Rusty? Okay. Kevin, Rusty Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Rusty Bailey. <laughs> Play with your face. Let me play with your face. Okay, uh, next up we have the aspiring tyrants. Aspiring, aspiring.
Significance, you know. I mean, you have the cameras behind and the cameras in front and the cameras all around. Uh, okay, next up we have uh, Greg Romero. Not George Romero, not Cesar Romero, Greg Romero. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hi. I just got published uh, earlier this year, if you're interested in my book, Hearts in a Crisis, and you can get it at lulu.com, L-U-L-U.com, Hearts in a Crisis. Okay, we're going to do some poetry tonight. This one's called Breakthrough. Days and days slowly fade, I'm so bored of going to the parade. I'd rather sit underneath the shade, figuring out how to escape out of my charade. Feeling trapped and I can't get out. No one cares hearing my shouts. That's my greatest fear, making a sound no one can hear. That saying is also true. If a tree fails or falls, doesn't make a sound. Well, no one gives a shit about me feeling blue. All my life, I've always been clowned. I took off the paint. I stripped naked from the suit. 
and I still feel the pain. I'm still getting the boot. I'm showing the true colors of who I am. I wiped away the jam, just like I wiped this slate, this slate clean. But it will never be enough. This world will always be me. Nothing I do is good enough. You will always want more, more, and more. No wonder why the human psyche is always rebuffed. Well, I am not your fucking whore. I'm just a fella trying to make sense out of things. I'm just trying to fly my own wings, seeking for my own path. But dead end, it never adds up into the math. It's a lose-lose situation in my book. You never leave me off the hook. You made me a pawn in your master plan. You kept me prisoner in your jail. You just want me to fail and fail and fail until someone ends up as crazy as I am. I'm in my own mind, stuck in traffic jam, figuring out how will I ever break free. What's the new scam? Pitch me the icebreaker of this sleazy fee. If I have to suck the cock of every guy in the neighborhood block to liberate myself, I'll do it without a vow. And I won't give it a second thought when I'm out. I will do everything in my power to nail you motherfuckers. Thank you. <laughs> I was inspired watching a lot of porno. <laughs> Alright, this one's a, this one's a kind of a clean one. This one's called Mend Our Hearts. I want to see the magic in you. I want to see the spark in you. But all I see is the tragic. Nothing but the dark. Is there any way you can step into the light? Is there any way you can miss your flight? I want you to stay into my arms protected. I promise no cliche romance by me will ever be rejected. I have no demands, expectations, or delusional ideas. I just want to cook you an omelet with flour tortillas, drinking some coffee while riding the trolley, discussing our past sweethearts over Pop-Tarts, eating some bacon, figuring out why our hearts have been aching. It's an hour trolley ride. Let's share the things that we tend to hide. You're not alone on this. First things first, give me a kiss. It's a start. <laughs> Techno poetry. Yes, sir. This one's about my ex-girlfriend. It's called Detrimental. You storm my heart like a tsunami wave, infecting it with your poisonous venom. Another trip to the cemetery grave. Where's the shovel? Should I bury the sponge heart that you squeeze like a lemon, or should I throw it into the puddle? Here I go again, lamenting a new plot into the madness I descend, crying tears into the ocean. Maybe I deserved it by gambling with devotion. Then again, maybe not. Since you didn't get Nick Cave, the resident, skinny puppy, the velvet underground, you don't get life itself, especially me. <laughs> So why should I let you back into my life? The author is dealing to one that you would ever be my wife. You treat people like a petty crime, throwing your feelings away into a jar, living a life as a businesswoman that you are, being anything you need to be at any time. I am not a puppet in the strings you try to hold, not this time and not in this crime. I live in the world above you. I am champagne and gold, where you are used wine and cold blue. What I am and what I have is rare. You are nothing where I am a breath of fresh air. Two things I will never do, work at Sears or be in a relationship with you. They both suck. Being a salesman and being around a lousy fuck. I'd rather fuck a goat or slit my throat. Not bad for a piece of gloat. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, indeed. That was Greg Romero. Not George Romero, not Cesar Romero, but Greg Romero. <laughs> uh, what's up next? Let me play with your fans. Oh yes, a true statement of modern life. Where's my remote control? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, uh, next up we have um, Sean Kelly. All right. Here he is. The song, uh, song I wrote when I dropped out of high school many years ago. Shorty boy, better get yourself in school. Johnny boy, better get yourself in school. The people that know so much about this life, they love to stab and jab you with that knife. But the knife's too short to penetrate, cause my mind's too small to calculate. Shawnee boy, better get yourself in school. It's funny, we all find out we die. Supposedly our souls head for the sky. But I'll prove to me and not to them. I'll find a place inside the wind. Shawnee boy. Shawnee boy, better get yourself in school. Shawnee boy, better get yourself in school. Thank you. And uh, death of a goat ran in the moat. song I learned when I was about 16 years old.
Though you're thinking that you're leaving there too soon There's a girl just down the aisle, oh, to turn and see her smile. You can hear the words she wrote as you read a hidden note. Oh, to live on Sugar Mountain with the Barkers and the Covered Balloons. You can't be twenty on Sugar Mountain Though you're thinking that you're leaving there too soon You're leaving there too soon Now you're underneath the stairs And you're giving back some glares To the people your first cigarette Oh, to live on Sugar Mountain With the Parkers and the Colored Blue You can't be twenty on Sugar Mountain Though you're thinking that you're leaving Uh, Sean Kelly and uh, 
Uh, yeah, doing a tune that he wrote a long time ago. Uh, yeah, when, back when he was uh, Neil Young. Uh, <laughs> yeah, back when we were all Neil Young. <laughs> or at least young. We were real young. <laughs> yeah, real young. <laughs> okay, uh, next up. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Um, uh, next up is Chuck. Chuck. You're up. Chuck used to come to this place and play uh, chess. Yeah, he used chess. to play chess here occasionally. I saw that yeah. too. <laughs>
that the devil is a friend of mine And if I get home before daylight I just might get some sleep
Yeah. Embryonic journey. Yes, indeed. Hey, one more? Yeah, go ahead. It's great. I just made a great video, too. Sweet. <laughs> So yeah, I just uh, this is my follow-up song to that because it's also in the same drop D tune. It's another Yarma tune. Uh, actually, this is a, a, a Gary Davis song that Yarma. So it goes something like.
Not to mention, hey, Frederick. Or up again. This one's called Ubiquitous. Relationships are rigged. Leaving me, maybe not now, but later, 90% of the time, because there is always something, some weak rebuttal as if I committed a crime. Don't put your shit on me when you're the one who reneged. You're the one who wanted me to be, become king. I didn't ask to be, I am not bound to be political, only to be diacritical, because what you see is what you get. Enough of this kingdom bullshit. You are not my palace slave. You are the woman I want to comfort till I reach my grave. So don't be frightened, I am a safe bet. I only want love, not complications. I want consideration, not paranoid accusations. I want to warm your heart and to have my cruel hand touch your brow whenever your fever is about to start. Because I'm never leaving your side. I don't know how. Thank you. Well, look at this. He's up here. He's all ready. And this is Eddie. Eddie is ready. And welcome to Monday Night Live at Kadam. Thank you. This is called The Stop You Tank. Thank you. 
Somebody else coming up. Uh, uh, let me see here. How are you? Some fun governor. Aspire to be a tyrant, just like your government. There he is. Wait. There he is, with PBR in hand, aspiring. <laughs>
ashes, smoke and ashes. That I will go to be, that I will go to be. That's all I know to be, smoke and ashes, smoke and ashes. That's all we go to be. I think I said it 53 times. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can figure a couple more here. Yeah. Hey, mom, there's something in the bedroom. A vicious thing creature from above. You guys are hearing me stories as if my dreams are boring. And we all know conspiracies are done. But if people find out that shit's real, keep the cadet closed all night. Say, wish someone could tell me what was right. All right, I'm all night long. There's something really wrong, and I know it's not that late. I've drunk since Wednesday. I'm not like you guys. I'm not like you. Yes, you know me. We've been best friends and we'll be till we die. But I got an injection of fear from the affection. And my best friend just thinks I'm telling lies. Alright, up all night long. There's something really wrong. And I don't know it's getting And I'm since Monday. I'm not like you guys. Yes, indeed. Uh, the I wrote that last song. Yes, aspiring tyrants, aspiring tyrants, the aspiring tyrants. Yes, it was. <laughs> uh, I think next up we have a uh, return engagement with uh, Sean Kelly. Oh, that's me. You back up here? Yeah. Oh, I, I hey. can tell me, Marvin. This is my, my pick. This is my pick. Here's your pick. You got one. The passing of the plug. <laughs> the passing of the plug. <laughs> I'd like to sing a song with John. Uh oh. It'll do. Uh oh. What is this? So I just got into California a week ago. I drove uh, two, three thousand miles from the northeast. I heard there was good weed out here. <laughs> well, I don't think so, though. I haven't found anybody that smokes pot. Where am I? Where am I not going? 
They're just not telling well, after you. After a week of driving, I have no idea, but man, it would be they're great just, to spark a few, wouldn't it? They're just kidding you. Everybody smokes pot. 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 Let's sing a pot smoking song, John. Everybody must get stoned. He here before I go to Alaska to look for weed. <laughs> I'm on a weed adventure. All my friends quit. I don't like quitters. I'm gonna have John sing on this song too, I think. Confusion has its cause. Love isn't lying, it's loose in a lady who lingers. And this is why I, oh, even home. Three 
together. They are for each other. John and Chuck on that song. Chuck, this is a song I, and, and uh, John I wrote when I was about 16 years old. I was a big pot smoker. Can't find that out here in California, but, but it's called Nature.
sharing of the plug. Uh, yes, that was uh, Sean Kelly here at uh, Monday Night Live. Cut down. Up next we have, yeah, next up is Kevin Bailey on guitar this time. Yeah, I think I'll have to start a uh, pick concession. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the I I, you know what, to be honest with you, I don't even know what the fuck to play. It's, it's been a while. No, I'm not going to play stand either, but it's been a while. Well, turn the pick sideways. It'll be a little... We'll rock out. Whoever gives this to me. It's, oh, bet it? it's better. Yeah. I can play me lady a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Look away, grab your 
Been the electric section of the uh, show. Hmm.
little uh, little swamp thing there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How about that one where you got the video footage from Las Vegas? <laughs> it's like a trip to Vegas, 87 or something. The strip. Yeah, the strip. The Vegas strip. Uh, Chuck. Yeah. I got some good news and bad news. We want to turn some bad news first. Bad news is so bad. Footage, mileage.
See me sometime. 